Hello, this is Xbox Ahoy, and this is the 33rd episode of my Black Ops 2 Weapon Guide. This time, we're covering the Cap 40. The last of the pistols, this futuristic handgun is unlocked at level 43, and is the only fully automatic secondary on offer. The Cap 40, or Chris Automatic Pistol, is an American weapon, manufactured by Chris USA. It currently only exists as a prototype weapon, as the semi-automatic Chris card, and it uses the same recoil mitigating action as used in the Vector SMG. The Vector and card are both normally chambered in the powerful 45 ACP round, although there have been some models produced in other calibers, and given the Cap 40's designation, it's likely that the version depicted in-game fires the 40 Smith & Wesson round. The unique Super V system permits accurate automatic firing of powerful rounds in a relatively compact package, with minimal muzzle rise. While the platform is relatively new, it does show some promise, and so, perhaps by 2025, such designs might see widespread use. In-game, damage is moderate. The Cap 40 will kill in three shots at a close range. This damage quickly drops off to a six-shot kill at the extent of the Cap 40's reach. There is no headshot multiplier, so body shots are as valuable at any range. And as with all the pistols, penetration ability is low. Rate of fire is an impressive 940 rounds per minute, faster than any other sidearm and comparable to most SMGs. Paired with good hipfire performance, the Cap 40 is a very reliable and consistent weapon in close quarters combat. Recoil is moderate but very controllable, with a vertical rise in your shots not a major factor within the Cap 40's effective range. Aim time is marginally quicker than the other pistols too, at 100 milliseconds, 25 milliseconds faster than most of its peers. Other handling traits are good too, with rapid switch times and 100% mobility. The Cap 40's major downfall is in its limited magazine capacity. While 15 rounds places it in the midst of its class, the elevated rate of fire means these shots are consumed very quickly. If you're careless, it's entirely possible to expend all 15 rounds before you're able to kill a single opponent. And while reloads are swift, at 1.5 seconds, you can be left very vulnerable during this downtime. Our build with the Cap 40 is a less than conventional one. A sapper class, designed to get behind your enemy's defences undetected, subvert their assets and leave deadly traps in your wake. To this end, we'll be mixing stealth aspects with some equipment-focused ones, with these choices complementing the Cap 40's effectiveness nicely. Our first choice is the Secondary Gunfighter Wildcard, permitting two attachment choices and helping to maximise the performance of your pistol in a primary role. The first of these two choices addresses the Cap 40's principal weakness, the short magazine. Extended clip confers an extra 33% per magazine, for 20 rounds total between reloads. Given the rapid rate of consumption, this will prove useful often, either in cases where you run into multiple opponents, or those times where you miss a significant portion of your shots. In addition, you'll spawn with more total ammunition, a useful trait given the Cap 40's voracious appetite. Our second attachment choice is the Suppressor, permitting a much stealthier route with the weapon, enabling fire without revealing your position on every enemy's minimap. You do lose 10% of your effective range, but this is a relatively minor sacrifice compared to the stealth benefits, and the removal of muzzle flash helps maintain a clearer sight picture while firing too. The suppressor is also the perfect complement to our first perk choice, Ghost. This will keep you hidden from enemy UAVs while on the move, granting near total immunity from radar detection whilst using the silenced pistol. This will mean you can preserve the element of surprise, and get the jump on an unready opponent more often. Our tier 2 choice is made by necessity, as the Cap 40's limited supply demands regular top-ups. Scavenger does prove useful in tandem with an equipment heavy build, however, so its purpose is doubled, keeping you supplied with spare magazines and keeping your equipment slots filled too. Even with extended clip and scavenger, you should be careful with your supply. If you don't collect the blue packs from your slain opponents, it's still quite possible to find yourself left entirely dry. Our final perk choice is Engineer, granting you the ability to see equipment through walls, revealing the location of enemy encampments, and also serving to protect you from claymores and bouncing betties. Such insight will be your cue as to where your next victim lies, better allowing you to plan your movement. 
In addition, this X-ray vision will open up the means to tackle enemy equipment without requiring line of sight, making for a much safer approach. Next, we load up on equipment. A bouncing Betty in your lethal slot will allow you to quickly drop an omnidirectional trap deep within enemy territory. Place it near combustible objects such as cars or barrels to enhance the blast radius, else on off-trodden routes to maximize the odds of an enemy blundering into it and awarding you a free kill. Toss them often, as you'll resupply another with every scavenger back. We spend our final two points on the perfect complement to the engineer perk. Two Black Hat PDAs. Not only will you be able to spy equipment through walls, you'll also be able to wrest control, further adding to your ability to deny the enemy's defensive advantage while extending your lethal potential. Few things are more frustrating than falling foul of a trap you placed yourself. In addition to hacking equipment, you can also use the Black Hat in an anti-score streak role, tackling turrets and aerial threats alike. Useful given that you can't equip both a secondary launcher and a pistol at the same time. That's our build. A stealthy approach with a counter-equipment twist, enabling you to turn your enemy's own defences against them, punishing any foe over-reliant on equipment-heavy tactics. With such a build, you can silently drive deep behind their lines, and use the Black Hat to crumble their defence and engineer their betrayal. The Cap 40 is a powerful backup weapon, combining rapid handling with reliable lethality. With tremendous output, it's possible to quickly eliminate close-range assailants, making the Cap 40 a worthy companion to any slower-firing weapon. In many respects, it's as effective as a primary SMG, with a combination of a three-hit kill and an enviable fire rate. The weapon does fall short in the capacity stakes, however. With a mere 15 rounds by default, it's all too easy to find yourself dry mid-firefight. This isn't a weapon you can simply spray with, it requires a touch of precision to accurately direct your shots. The short effective range will exacerbate this issue at anything outside of a close range too. Landing 6 shots out of 15 is a tricky task, and it is here where a typical SMG will outperform the Cap 40. Still, the Cap 40 is in the secondary tier for a reason, and as long as you stick to close range engagements only, it performs admirably. So, should your opposition be all up in your grill, bust out this gap and pop a cap in there behind. Thanks for watching, this has been Xbox Ahoy. Join me next week when I'll be covering the SMR. Until then, farewell.